Everything from harassment by emails, like a texts, letters. Talks like, he talks uh, like a nerd. Of myself, my wife, myself. my three daughters. Uh, there have been credible death threats leading to the arrests of two individuals. And credible death threats mean someone who clearly was on their way to kill me. Um, <laughs> he ordered an Uber. It's required my <laughs> having uh, Killed the Uber driver. <laughs> uh, essentially all the time. Uh, is that really what happened? No. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it is very troublesome to me. Um, it is much more troublesome because they've involved my wife and my three daughters. Ball. At these moments, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Do you continue to receive threats today? Yes, I do. Every time someone gets up, and says I'm responsible for the death of people throughout the world, the death threats go up. Oh, who? You bitch. Who cares? Who cares? I think they, I think they did a good point on PewDiePie's podcast about this. How many people couldn't go to their father's fucking exactly. funeral? Exactly. How many? How many people said that they couldn't get that heart surgery because of hit that? Fucking guy. Oh, no, dude, I, I remember. When and now lockdown, he's receiving death threats from those same people. Go fuck yourself. When the lockdown started, I remember there was an article came out about a woman in Nebraska who had lung cancer. It was stage three. And they weren't sure if she was going to make it. They were giving her a flip of a coin. But there was a surgery they could do where they could go in and remove the tumors. And that her doctor said that was going to give her the best chance. Once those idiotic lockdowns and COVID restrictions went into place, they said, hey, this surgery is elective. You can technically stay on chemo. So she had to stay on chemo and she died. A mother of three. She died. Oh, but Fauci's word. Fauci's a fucking animal, dude. That guy deserves no respect. I'm sorry you got threatened. Those people were stupid. They shouldn't have threatened. I'm not you. sorry. I bet I you know he had two credible threats. I've had more I've had more credible threats in the last week running this little show than Dr. Fauci did. I'm not sorry at all. The entire time. I haven't come on here and complained and asked for sympathy once. We've made fun of it because it is kind of funny that people would get upset enough at me to try to want to threaten to kill me or beat me up or whatever. But I've had more credible threats than Dr. Fauci has had in the last week. And I have never come on here and asked for anybody's sympathy. I rarely ever bring it up. Don't sit here and talk to me about, oh, I got threatened. Yeah, dude, because you destroyed people's livelihoods. I knew a guy that had started a business years before COVID started. And it was a side hustle for a long time. It was restoring classic cars and working on cars. And selling cocaine. Well, that was the <laughs> bills. But, uh, but no, so he started, uh, so he had a, a business going. End of the year 2019, he had finally been making enough money. He could quit his day job. Went into that business. Oh, my gosh. Uh, COVID comes along. They shut everything down. He blew his brains out and left behind a wife and two kids. That was what? a friend of mine. Yeah. Killed himself. He had been sober for a couple years, hadn't drank or had done any drugs, and fucking blew his head off because of that piece of shit. So, no, you're right. I'm not sorry somebody threatened you, Dr. Fauci. The, think, Dr. Fauci I think deserves none of your sympathy is the point I'm making. That guy is a... And even if he thought he was doing the right thing, he's now admitted that he didn't know what the hell he was doing, and they just went out on a whim, and they destroyed more lives than they saved with those lockdowns. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for Brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.